March 11th, William Carey. If God has a job for you, no power on earth can stop you if you trust him. William Carey once asked John Newton what would happen if, when he finally got to Bengal, the East India Company just sent him home. Then conclude, Newton said, that the Lord has nothing there for you to accomplish, but if he has, no power on earth can hinder you. In 1798, Carey ordered a wooden press from Calcutta and had it shipped to their site in a tiger-infested and very wet region. Thus, the Serampore Missionary Press was born, and Carey got so happy and excited, some of the natives thought the press must be some kind of English deity. More presses were added. Over the next 12 years, Carey translated the Bible into Bengali and Sanskrit and other major languages and dialects, many of which had never been printed before. And he started a school and taught boys to read the Bible. Then, one night, a fire broke out in one of the offices. Despite valiant efforts to fight it, the building burned fiercely. Carey's entire library, the complete Sanskrit dictionary, a portion of the Bengali dictionary, multiple grammar books, 10 original translations of the Bible were lost in the fire. All but five pieces of equipment were destroyed, including the typesets for the 14 different Eastern languages they were printing. Of 1,200 reams of paper they had imported from England, nothing remained. Tears streamed down Carey's face as he spoke. In one short evening, the labors of years are consumed. How unsearchable are the ways of God. Now was the time Carey needed to remember what John Newton had told him, that if God had work for Carey to do, no power on earth can hinder you. Heartbroken, Carey chose to believe, as he had so many times before, that God's will would prevail. As it says in Isaiah 14, 27, For the Lord Almighty has purposed, and who can thwart him? His hand is stretched out, and who can turn it back? He wrote to the Missionary Society in England, The loss is heavy, but as traveling a road the second time is usually done with greater ease than the first time, so I trust the work will lose nothing of real value. We are cast down, but not in despair. The loss is very great, but I can think of a hundred circumstances that would make it more difficult to bear. His thought was to examine himself to see what in himself might have added to this evil. Within a few months, Carey had rebuilt the press and set up a new base of operations in a warehouse. What he didn't know was that the print shop fire would bring him and the missionary cause in India to the attention of people all over Europe and America. Over the ensuing months, over 10,000 British pounds were collected for rebuilding the missionary press in Serampore from England and Scotland alone. As Carey's fame grew, volunteers poured into India. 20 years later, the expanded printing operation had published complete Bibles or portions of the Bible in 44 local languages and dialects. Can you think of a time when you had a setback that appeared to be a failure? When that happened, in your disappointment, did you question how God could let that happen? If you're still there, is it time to pray and ask God to show you how to turn the situation into His victory and show you His will for you? If God has a job for you, no power on earth can stop you if you trust Him. Men, Chuck Stecker here, March 11th. I'm the teaching pastor at Summit Church in Centennial, Colorado, and I'm also the executive director of A Chosen Generation, a ministry helping churches with transformational culture, intergenerational. 
You know, as we listen to the story of William Carey, you know, I, I was taken by the first fact that we heard was he was poor, poorly educated, didn't have the same opportunities. Yet in the midst of all of that, he chose one to give his very best effort and found that he had an aptitude for learning. You know, I think about guys all the time in the world that we live in today and they say, well, I'm more visual. I don't read well. I just spoke to a young man yesterday and said, you know, I don't, I don't read well. I don't do that. And I said, no, I, I think you can learn to do that if it's important enough for you. But the story here with William Carey really focuses on that devastating loss from the world's perspective and what Satan thought he had a victory in stopping William Carey. You know, as I look at this and the question is, you know, when God has a purpose for you, there's no force on earth that can stop that. We can allow ourselves to be stopped, absolutely, but there is no force on earth that can stop us from that purpose and destiny for which God has for us if we choose to walk it out. You know, there's a corollary for me in this, and I couldn't help but think on that day in 1812 when the entire printing press burned down, all the paper was gone, everything, even the typeset, that Satan thought he had a victory and he had stopped William Carey only to find out as a result of that, that the money, the volunteers, what would happen was exponentially greater than anything that would have happened prior to that fire. And I think of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, on that day, on that cross, don't you think Satan thought he had a victory and that he had won? Only to find out it was just the beginning of the greatest victories that the world and the universe could ever know and through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So what's holding you back? Let me ask you this. Are you allowing things to hold you back that God wants to use? Failures, disappointments, terrible things perhaps that have happened. God wants to use that to move you forward, to move his glory for his kingdom forward. What's holding you back? What are you gonna do about it? God bless you.